Here we're in the email template builder and we're going to go over some of the editing options to make you more comfortable with creating and building out your email templates. So these four options up here on the top are what we're going to go over. So here we have add elements. This is where you can select your elements to put into your email. Adding elements is as simple as clicking on the one you want and then dragging and dropping it into your builder. And then you also have layout options down here. So again, here you can just click on an option and drag it and drop it into your builder. And that's going to give you um, some layout options. So if you don't like this layout, you can select different layouts here and you'll see that these layouts will change. And then going over to manage element, you have options to view the your different sections. And then when you open these up, you can see the different columns and the different elements that you pasted in here. You can also hover over your different elements and your different sections to edit um, the pencil icon on your sections, your columns and your elements will give you the edit options over here. Um, if it's text, it'll give you options up here as well. And then if you'd like to clone an element or a section, you can click on this little clone icon here. If you'd like to delete a section or element, click on this delete icon here. And then if you'd like to turn off mobile or desktop view, you can toggle these as well. Um, so when the line is through these, that means that it is not visible on mobile or it is not visible on desktop. And then you can toggle these back on to view those on desktop and mobile. Over here in appearance, you have global editing options for template, button, divider, custom CSS, and mobile formatting. And then creating A-B testing, you can click on here and toggle this on and you have a variety of A-B test options as well.